Every year, Australians throw out millions of tonnes of plastic. But the local recycling industry can only deal with about a tenth of it. The rest is either burned, buried or shipped overseas. Now I think when I put my recycling material in my, my bin to, to recycle, that's what's going to happen. I don't think that there's only a small percentage of that's going to go around the circular economy and the rest is going to go to landfill. The current system that we have is not going to be sustainable for the longer term. When China stopped recycling Australian waste, it was a wake-up call for the local industry. The responsible thing is for us to deal with our material here, but we simply don't have the infrastructure to deal with it. So where does this recycling... Scientist Len Humphreys and a collaborator from the University of Sydney have patented what they believe could be a revolutionary solution to our growing mountain of rubbish. This is the 80% of, of material that we don't recycle today and all of it would go to landfill. So you've got things like wetsuits, sawdust, all these things that at the moment can't be recycled and these can be turned into an oil and then back into a plastic. So what we're doing is we're simply taking those materials and converting them back to the, to the liquids and the chemicals they came from. The process uses hot water at high pressure to chemically transform the plastics back into oil. From there they can be turned into plastic, bitumen or even petrol. That may sound familiar to sci-fi fans. You've got to come back with me! Where? Back to the future! The movie Back to the Future features a time machine car fueled by rubbish. I need fuel! And after a decade of testing, Len Humphreys says it's no longer just science fiction. Unlike conventional recycling, the chemical process they've invented means different types of plastic don't need to be separated, allowing plastic waste to be recycled over and over again. So this is the final product, which is the oil that we're going to use, the building blocks for, for new plastics. And this can now be turned back into other plastics. More pots, tubs and trays for your yogurts. And or petrol. Or petrol. Right. Yes. For your car. This is just a pilot plant, but the company says if it's scaled up to a commercial facility, it could process 20,000 tonnes of plastic a year. That's a lot of plastic, but it's just a drop in the ocean of the 3.5 million tonnes Australians use each year. Then we're looking at something like 20 to 30 plants, because you can't always get 20,000 tonnes, some, some communities are less, but uh, would substantially help to make Australia plastic neutral. And that's not a lot of plants. While they chase investment dollars at home, their company Lysella is preparing to open its first commercial facility abroad in the United Kingdom, where they say there were more government grants and concessions for their business. But they incentivise the market. We, didn't, we don't do that here. We're not incentivising the market here. But we are five or six years behind the thinking of what really stimulates the market in Europe. It's not about grants. It's not about government paying for something to be done, it's about government supporting the entire supply and investment chain in a way that allows business to do what it does best. Environment Minister Susan Lee says the government is in talks with Lysella about their technology and how it could be commercialised in Australia. I'm looking forward to meeting with Lysella and hearing what their plans are and how the Australian government may be able to support them. Hi. Professor Damien Gurko from the Institute for Sustainable Futures at the University of Technology, Sydney, says the process developed by Dr Humphreys is a great innovation. But the bigger issue Australia needs to face is its overconsumption of plastic. When we think about how we need to design our systems for plastic use and uh, reuse in the economy, one technology is not going to be a silver bullet. As far as Len Humphreys is concerned, we already have the technology to recycle all the plastic we use. And all that's holding Australia back is the will to change a broken system. Well, in the next 10 years we could do that. The technology is there and the know-how is there. We just need the motivation and the stimulus to get that circular wheel turning.
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.